In this video, I wanna show you how to animate this image to make the dust really kind of fly around with photo vibrance. So I'm just gonna go to the path for the anchors. I'm just gonna draw out around this picture to the places that I wanna stay still. So I'm just gonna go through and quickly draw around this bike. Okay, cool. So once you've drawn out your path, hit enter on your keyboard and you'll be able to see it locks in all those anchors. And you can go and manually add anchors by clicking on single and just simply pointing and clicking around where you want to add your anchors. Once we've isolated the areas, what we can do now is add in our arrows. And for kind of dust, the best one probably would be to go with, with single arrows. Uh, if you're drawing out water and things like that, you can use a path and that looks really good. So I'm just gonna go and draw out some arrows over here and let's just bring them up and depending on how much motion you want to add you can draw out your arrows bigger or smaller usually it's best to go with not too too big ones um, but what you want to do is you know just draw them out and see what it looks like a lot of this kind of animating is kind of trial, trial and error so you kind of have to play around with it see what looks good to you and make adjustments so i'm just gonna draw out a few more like this maybe one up here as well and one there and let's just preview what that looks like cool so that's looking really really good i can go through and adjust the speed like that that's looking really nice um and maybe move this one make it a little bit smaller play around with that and yeah let's preview this again so that's looking really really cool so that's how you can create a really nice looking dust effect using the motion arrows inside of photo vibrance and once you're done simply go to publish you can then choose whether you want it to be mp4 or a gif image and how many loops you want by default uh, all the animations in here uh, go through in loops um, so if you're playing it really fast it's going to loop quite quickly and then start again like that um, so you want to kind of play around how, how much you want it to loop um, and yeah you can just go with one loop if you're going to be posting on social media because it will automatically loop anyway um, or you can, if you want to make a, a longer video, you can just, you know, add two loops, for example, and publish that. Okay, great. So now I've published this video, you have to see, I just resize it down. You have to see what it looks like. So it's looking really, really cool. And what you could also do as well, if you want to have it in different formats, after you've published it, what you can do is adjust the size. Let's say I want to make it a square one like that for Instagram, for example. I could just go through and bring this over, done editing, and then I can go through and republish that as another video. So I hope you enjoyed this example of how you can create some really cool looking effects with your images inside of Photo Vibrance.